If you think about the conservative approach to racism, it's colorblindness. If you think about the alternative, the left liberal alternative, it's diversity. And neither one of those things is actually equity. Under a diversity banner and strategy, what you get is a lot of white organizations reaching out to communities of color to get communities of color to carry out the agenda that the white organizations with all their white yeah. leadership yeah. have developed. Philanthropic space is close to 120 billion plus of money. Organizations led by people of color or serving people of color is less than 5% of that. We're not actually creating the infrastructure that we need to ensure that we have the leadership and that we actually have the tools and the knowledge to ensure that we are creating an agenda that is reflective of our country. And that's the danger. We talk about power all the time and are more afraid of power than anybody I know. Because when you have power, you become a real target. Let's not forget, they're not acting this way because we suck. Okay? They're not acting this way because we, we're not powerful. They're acting this way because we are. The whole damn economy is melting down, and if we had been paying attention and caring about the connection between racial indifference, which is just another form of white supremacy, and the effect that that would end up having on millions of folks, including millions of white folks now, we might not be in this mess. If you want to be fighting for good health care, if you want to fight for good jobs, if you want to fight for good educations, if you want to fight for better regulation of the banking industry, that all has to become anti-racist organizing because racism is at the root of why we haven't done that stuff yet and it's important to understand that.